So in this third example, we have another talent contest where we have two more judges, E and F. They're awarding scores out of 20 again, but this time for nine contestants. Uh, we're going to test at the 10% level to determine whether there is any evidence to suggest some association between the two judges' scores. So the first thing we need to do is calculate Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So we're going to need to rank E and F and work out the difference and the difference squared. Okay, so there are nine contestants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so um, we're going to rank them from the highest score to the lowest score. Um, so let's go with 20 being first then. So 20 comes in first. Right, then we've got an 18, so that's next, so that's two. Uh, then the 17, so that's going to be third. Then we've got uh, the 15, so that's going to be fourth. Okay, then no 14, no 13, no 12. The next one's the 11 that we've got there, so that will be fifth. Uh, no 10, no 9, next one's 8 then, so that would be 6. Uh, then we've got the 7, um, so that's in the 5th position, so that'll be there, so that'll be uh, in 7th position. And then we've got the 3, which is going to be 8th, and then that one's going to be 9th. Okay, so it's, it's easier if you kind of, if you're able to really cross them off. So 20 is coming in first, so 1, 2, 3, 4, that one. Uh, then we've got the 17, so that's second. Then uh, we've got the 15, which is going to be third, so that's that one. Then we've got the 14, which is going to be fourth. Okay. Then we've got the 13, so that's going to be fifth. Then, okay, so let's let's start crossing these off, right? <laughs> because uh, it's getting hard to kind of like see it. So first, second, third, fourth, right, fifth. Okay, so now we've got the tenth. Uh, sorry, the ten, uh, which is going to be sixth. So the 10 comes in 6th, uh, then we've got the 7, so that's 7, uh, then we've got the 6, and then the 4, so 8, then 9. Okay, right. So now we need to work out the difference, so uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, minus 2, 1. Square each of those, 4, 1, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0, 4, 1. So 5, 6, 7, 11, 15, 16. So the sum of d squared is 16. So that means that Spearman's rank correlation coefficient will be 1 take away 6 lots of 16 divided by n, which is 9, times by 9 squared take away 1, so 80. Okay, so 1 take away 6 lots of 16 over 9 times 80. We get 13 fifteenths, so that will be 0.867. Uh, okay, so now we go into the hypothesis test. So H0 there is no association between the scores of the two judges. H1, there is some 
association. between the scores of the two judges. Okay. So now uh, we need to find our critical value. So for n equals 9, and we're going with a 10% level. So the 10% critical value is... Now, the tables are on page 12. We're looking at the right-hand side. Now, because we've got, we're looking at some association, this is a two-tail test. So you need to look at two-tail and then go to the left until you hit 10%. And then you need to go down until you hit n is equal to 9, which is 0 0.6000. Okay, now if it helps, you can draw a number line. Okay, so 0 0.6 is about there. So that is your critical region. The 0 0.867 is there. So it's inside the critical region. So 0 0.867. 867 is greater than 0 0.6000. So the result is significant. So we reject H0 and say there is evidence to suggest there is some association. between the scores of the two judges. Okay, so that is how we can complete this hypothesis test.